Think you know which way it's going to go? You should head on over to Sports Interaction. When the puck drops, Sports Interaction has you covered. Uh, Live in play. Live in play. But pregame. Uh, pregame. Live in player on one of their many prop bets. I wasn't ready. On all major sports and prop bets. Want to bet? Sportsinteraction.com slash STPN. 19 plus. Please play responsibly. I'm keeping them on their toes. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Today is a quick stream, so I got to be quick. I got to be fast. We got about 40 minutes till puck drop. This is being recorded live. If you're watching on YouTube, this is live on Tuesday night before the Leafs play the Penguins. We got about 39 minutes now before puck drop. So I'm going to go right up until like 6.55. But I'm here today just to do a couple tasks that are left over from last episode. So if you watched last episode, if you were here last time live, it was awful. It was one of the worst sims of a franchise mode that i have ever had in the history of my entire life we were supposed to be stanley cup contenders we built a team that was like a 92 average on the stupid ea average of the player ratings we completely pooped the bed there was a lot of poop in a giant king size bed and it wasn't great we finished. We ended up finishing. I will pull up the standings here just to show you how bad of the season it, of a season it was. We finished in the entire National Hockey League. We finished in thirty-first place. We are second last. The only thing that makes finishing second last. Even worse than finishing second last is when you don't own your own draft pick. We had traded it away a long time ago because we're trying to win the Stanley Cup within five years of our franchise mode because it only lasts five years, and the goal is to win the Stanley Cup with the Arizona Coyotes. So we don't have our first-round draft pick. I don't even remember who has it, but we haven't simmed the draft lottery odds yet. That's what we're doing today. We're doing the draft. I got uh, running out of time. 38 minutes now. I got till puck drop. So we got to sim the draft and we got to see if whoever owns our first round pick gets the first overall pick because we finished second last. It's like the LA Lakers. If you're a basketball fan, this is just like the Lakers right now with Wembe Yama where they don't have their first overall pick, a first round pick this year, and they are tanking hard. Um, I'm scared. I'm I'm really worried that we will end up giving away the first overall pick. Ah, I don't know if this makes matters worse or if this makes matters better. But in the year that we finished second last after we were going for the Stanley Cup, the Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup. Yes, if you weren't here last episode, the Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup. They beat the Winnipeg Jets, which would have been a great Stanley Cup final. They beat the Winnipeg Jets 4-1. to one. They did it. They complete, the, Whoever's the GM there in this virtual world in 2025, they completed one since 67. Something that we were unable to do ever. Ah! What a painful stream that was. What an adventure this has been so far with this Arizona Coyotes franchise mode. Let's him a couple days. Let's see if we will give away the first overall pick. Retirements are coming up. Oh my, thank God. Praise be, praise be, praise be. Ottawa, who has our first round pick this year, has fallen from second to fourth. Praise be. Air horns. Oh my goodness. Hold on. The air horns didn't play. Let's let's get the air horns out here. That's kind of loud. Is that loud for you? It's loud for me. Anyways. Woo! Thank goodness. Go, 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 go. Buffalo with a miracle lottery. Buffalo with a absolute steal goes from 11 to 1 Chris says it's snail time 
Let's go. Snail time. Snail time for not giving away the first overall pick. I think that deserves some snail. All right, let's check out the retirements here. Retirements, retirements, sim a day. Review retired players. Goodbye, Joe Pavelski, Corey Perry, Jeff Carter, Orangris, Louis Erickson, Eric Johnson, former first overall pick, Eric Johnson. Any other big names? Not really. Kyle Clifford, Dunn, Mark Stone, Michael Stone. That's not Mark Stone. That would be weird if it was Mark Stone. Uh, Ryan Reeves is done. Robert Bertuzzo. There's some names for you. Some skaters or some goalies, sorry. Corey Schneider, Kudobin, and Johnny. I don't know who that is. Anybody from our squad? No goalies for us. No skaters for us. Awesome. We dodged the retirement bullet. Joe Pavelski joined the coaches ranks. Darren Helm is a scout now. Patrick Hornquist is a scout. Corey Perry is a scout. Yeah, cool. Coach retirement. Nobody. Anybody on the Tuscans? Anybody on the Roadrunners? No. Oh, yeah. No, we got a retirement. Ulf Tim Mander retired from RHL team. Good to know. Got to fill up that spot. All right. Draft day. Let's go look at our team that sucked. Our team that wasn't good. We don't have much work to do because we thought we'd be a lot better. So everything's kind of wrapped up. We have Thomas Tatar, Ronnie Attard, Hoglander, and Soderstrom. We're going to do some cheap deals with them. We're going to bring them back. How much cap space do we have? 24 mil. Oh, nice. Uh, let me check in the system as well. Boko. Going to try and get them back. And then Goldie. So there's not there's not going to be a lot, of, a lot for us to do here on draft day. We're just going to kind of be sitting back, relaxing. See if we can move some of our future picks, maybe. We have a whole bunch of first-round picks next year. And we need to move those eventually. But we don't know if we're good yet. So let's check out the draft class or the draft board. Can I see the draft board? Draft board. There we are. Projected pick, second round, 14. That is our only pick, right? I believe that's our only pick. Fine trade. We might be bad. Robert. Robert. We might be bad. We only have one pick. Awesome. We, we have one pick. So we're look at all our 2026 picks. This was the year we were supposed to go for it all. Look. Look how we load it up. Uh, so, yeah, next year we're going for it all. 2026 is our year. 2026 is our year. We're going to find a trade for that second, second round pick. Let, oh, let me check out the gems. Before I do that, let me check out the gems. Uh, view draft class. Awesome. Gems, gems, gems. 33rd. Ooh, we could move up a little, but like we don't need this player. We don't need them at all. We're trying to win a Stanley Cup here. Let's move back that pick. We're going to find a trade here for our second round pick because we don't want to move up. Third and a third next year. Can anybody give us a second? Blake Coleman, we don't want to take on that salary. All right, let's package it. Let me do this real quick. Let's package a second and a sixth. Second and a sixth. Can that get us a second round pick? 55th overall. So we'd move back. That doesn't make sense, Winnipeg. Uh, can we get a second round pick next year? Okay, we can move up and get that player to 30. That's 38th. William McKayev is a new player. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. We can push it back. Let's take this, push it to next year. We'll take the Flyers or the Islanders. Flyers, the Islanders, Flyers. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Flyers, the Islanders. Ah, I jumped to Pittsburgh. Oh, Pittsburgh. Yay. 2026. Let's take that. There we go. All right. We've pushed back to our draft pick. We have no draft picks. 
sim options, sim entire draft. We have 20 minutes here until, no, 25 minutes until I'll call it a stream so everybody can get over to Puck Drop. No draft picks. Sim away, sim away. Let's get to the resign phase. It's actually right here. Simulate up to this day. Scouts with expiring contract. Oh my gosh, I need to resign all these scouts. All right, all right. Let's resign some of these scouts. Signing scouts is the worst thing that this entire game has. Yes. Here's all the money. Resign scout. I wish there was if there was an auto resign scout button. Man, I would hit that button with all of my strength. That's all I want to do is re-sign all the scouts. And for some reason, it takes a lot of effort. I'm actually, I'm not going to do all of them because, well, it doesn't, it doesn't even make a difference because we don't use our scouts. So like if I sign them, if I don't, Ashton Dingle, Ashton Dingle. That's so funny because we call him Stove Dingle. All right, there we go. Scouts have re-signed. Coaches! Joe Thornton is our head coach. What's our budget? Staffing salary, $3.3 million. We don't have an associate OHL, AHL coach. We don't have an assistant NHL head coach. Jumbo, I guess we can keep going with Jumbo. We don't have the money to sign a top head coach, so... Jumbo it is. Let's let's do it. Unless we like this this coolies guy. Can we what if we demoted Joe? Let's make this B minus guy the head coach. Promote to assistant. Can I demote Joe to assistant? NHL assistant. Okay. I demoted Joe. And I'm going to promote to NHL head coach. So then this guy is our head coach. Coolies. Joe's the assistant. We got an AHL head coach. So now the B minus is our head coach. Maybe that'll be a, a little, a little better. Because last year we had to fire our head coach of Mark Giordano. Mark Giordano was our head coach for like three months. Season went in the crapper, like I told you. So we did it. We fired him mid-season. All right, 2026. Here we go. Here's all of our UFAs. Let's make some deals here. Ronnie Atar. Ronnie Atar, you can come back if you uh, oh, offer contract. Oh, yeah. Ronnie, I'll do this. Two years, 900 grand. You can have it. Boom. It's a one-way contract, but eh, we might lose him, lose him on waivers. doesn't really matter. 44 contracts? That's 45. The RFAs count, though. So, 44. Let's leave some room. Thomas Tatar needs to go. 79 over. No, Thomas Tatar, re Thomas Tatar release. Uh... Ruger, we don't need to sign you. You're 19. Also, you suck. I'm just going to leave you to expire. Hoglander, offer contract. Oh, 1.6? Can you do two years? Oh, the 1.9. How much cap room do we have? No, we have 19 million. Oh, my gosh. Hoglander. If you do two years at 1.875, I'll just give you that. Awesome. That's a great deal. Boko, I'm sorry. Don't tell Alan. Nobody. Nobody tell Alan Walsh. Boko's gone. Boko's got to go. Nobody tell Alan. Nobody, nobody. Cutting that out of the YouTube video so nobody can see that that happened. Um, offer contract to Soderstrom. Soderstrom, we're going to wait out. We're going to offer. We're going to qualify as RFA so we get his rights. Pospisil. Why do, why do we want you? We're going to qualify RFA. Yeah, we'll qualify you. Cool. Moser will qualify. Mayo by oh let's let's check our D before I say bye. Uh check the D before we say bye. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have too many D. We have enough D, I should say. I shouldn't say too many. We have enough D. We don't need more D in the organization. We can get rid of you. Amazing. Mayo and Callie not because that'll leave us with two extra. Let's, let's get them out. Eh, I'm, I'm in. I'm in between. Maybe we keep one? Now, nah, let's get rid of them. And then we can always fill in that gap. Offer contract. Yeah, we don't need these on the books. Release. 41 contracts. And then Kalinuk, if you want to stick around, you can be the extra D for the Tuscan Roadrunners. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7... Yeah, no, we don't even need we don't even need Cali knock. Let's get rid of him. Release. All right, that's all our deals. Let's check the uh goalie situation. Goalie situation is Thomas Grice. There's a backup 39 years old. We got two goalies, two goalies. We probably need let's keep Grice to stick around. It's not gonna cost us a whole lot. Unless we just go out and get a younger second goalie for the miners, offer contract. Let's see what he costs. One way contract bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Grice. All right. There we go. We shouldn't have any contracts out there left pending. Everybody has been qualified. Everybody has been offered a deal. There's our five RFAs. Incredible work team. Crap. Incredible work, crap. All right, I'm running out of time here. Or I have to go watch the Leafs. See yes, Ronnie Atar comes back. Hoglander comes back. Anybody except their qualifying RFA deals. Cedric King, that's a scout. Scout comes back. Scout. 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 Ashton. Ashton Dango. Scout. All right, awesome. Didn't have anything else pending. Everything should be done nice and tidy. There's another scout signing. Damn it. Hey, Moser takes the qualifying. Nice. Nice. There's a bunch of qualifying deals that get done. Scout's not renewed. Oh my gosh, my bad. That sucks. 39 contracts. Okay. Let's build this roster. About 12, 15 minutes here. We need some help. $18 million. We can go big fish hunting. Hell yeah. Down the middle, we're set. Down the middle, we are dynamite. Down the middle, we are good. Left wing. Keller. Hoglander. Ratcliffe. Veselainen. That's cool. That's very cool. Are you kidding? How did this team finish second last? Right wing. Tarasenko. Zamnov. Oh, my goodness. We just need some... We'll get some bottom of the forward group right wingers. I didn't write that down, but remember it. Okay. Uh, let me check in the minors, too. Who, who's in the right wing of the minors? Neander, Pos Pospisil. So we need some help there. Cool. We can do that. In the minors, we're set on left wing. Let's go get some depth wingers, though. Depth wingers, though. Uh, in the system, down the middle. So we need depth skaters on the right side and left side. And maybe another center. Defense. Defense main roster. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we good. Awesome. We can get a big defenseman. If we really wanted to. And then we can move out some of these other players. We have so many young, talented defensemen here. All right. All right. And then, oh, goalie situation. Uh, goalie situation is Demko and Brassois. We don't even need help there. All right. Free agents. Go get these depth wingers on the right side. Aravainen is there. Okay. 
Depth wingers on the right side. If we do sort by overall, all in white. No. Looking at a third line winger and a fourth line winger. Who do you see? Who do you want? Taylor Radish? Taylor Radish is our fourth line winger. I like it. Do we agree, crap people? And then we can go even higher. So if we did Radish and, let's see. Konechny is a little too good. Colin White's not even a bad option. Like Colin White and Radish. Unless we go old. Yeah, Colin White and Radish. That would be 4.2 plus 2.3. That's about 6.5. That leaves us with 10 million bucks. Comfer is a lot cheaper and just as good. We should probably do Comfer. I think we do Comfer. Yeah, 1.7. That's too that's too cheap. Let's do Comfer offer contract. We'll be saving so much money. I'm going to do 1.925 2 years set done. And then Colin White for sure. That center right wing combo is going to be important. Colin White offer contract. 4.3 4.44 he wants the one year let's do it awesome that'll fill out the right side we are going to be dynamic now we need some depth just skaters we need we need depth here just in case of injury so guys can fight for the the spots in the lineup we don't have a lot of AHL help Phil Castle Phil Castle is out there he's 37 though don't really need that. Anderson, we don't need centers. Hoffman's there. Velarde. Oh, Gabe Velarde, but he's a center. Don't really, we need winger help. Ryan Johansson's 32. Don't need that. Fabry. Oh, okay. No, Bobby's 84 overall. He's too good. Jordan Everly's 35. Palmieri's 32. Jake Evans. Jake Evans. There we go. Let's try Jake Evans. Let's pull him in. Offer contract. 1.6. I'm going to do one year. Oh, sorry. One year. 1.6. We really only need these player, these depth players for one year. 1.625. 1.6. Offer contract. Depth forward there. Kaliev. Kaliev and RFA. I hope not. Hopefully he was released straight up. This would be awesome. Let me see. Ah, yeah. RFA. So we can't do Kaliev. Uh, Greenway. Nah, a little too much. Ben. Aneth. Athanasiu. We had him on the roster before. Didn't win. Max Jones, Vetrano, Vetrano's good, Vetrano's good, always love me a Frankie Vetrano, right and left wing, okay, I hope all, if these guys all sign, we got so much depth, plus defenseman, so Shea Theodore's out there, 88, 8.3 million, so 8.3, we've already spent about 10. I don't know if we could do that. We could also do it through trade. Brandstrom. If this was... If we were building for longer than two years, maybe we could do Brandstrom. But also, no, RFA expiry. What am I talking about? We can't do Brandstrom. Okay. Let's move off of this. I think we have enough of depth. I think we have... Oh, we need one goalie. Oops. I think we have enough depth that if we got all of these forwards signed, that we'd be real good. So goalies. Let's get an AHL goalie slash a backup. Okay. Vimelka. 
Valka's super cheap. No, the Gustafson. Gustafson's under a million. 83? Anton Forsberg's out here as well. We got about 10 minutes left until I got to get off this stream. I want to see if everybody signs. Vladar. Vladar? Let's do it. 900 grand. Hell yeah. Dan. Big Dan. Big Dan in the house. Let's do that. Let's sim it. Let's see if we can get some of these UFA signed. I hope they all come through. No. Decline. 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 We also need some cap space for the trade down. Betrano, Frankie! Big Dan! Yeah! Coffee! Oh, Colin White! Oh, Colin White doesn't sign. Jake Evans doesn't sign. Colin White and Jake Evans do not sign with us because of the chemistry of our team. How dare they? Let's go try and get them again or somebody else. Okay, so scan the forward group. Centers. Centers looking great. 81 down the middle. We probably need that comp for signing because then we got four again. We need some more depth down the middle. More depth down the middle. Left wing. We got that. Ratcliffe and Veselina and Hoglander and Keller. Cool. And then in the system, some more depth on left wing. Right wing, though. Okay, it's fine. We need some more depth forwards all across the board. Let's go get some more. Goalies. Big Dan signed in the system. We got Braswell Rodrigue. Okay, cool. We got 17 million. Oh my goodness. 17 million left in cap space. We have a lot of cap space. We can still make a lot of signings here. Cap space 17 million. We still need to do um who's the RFA who's out there who didn't sign with us? Our RFA's left to sign our oops, oops, oops. In the system. Soderstrom again. So Soderstrom, 5.3. He's going to come down. We'll hold out. We'll wait him out. Do contracts. Free agents. All right. So let's go get these depth forwards again. Let's try this one more time. We need left wingers. We need right wingers. We need all of them. Voracek. No. Like, we're, I'm thinking about an old guy. Like, I really want to do the old guy contract. Do we do Bergeron? Like, are you guys down for Bergeron? One year of Bergeron? Tell me that's not fun. Tell me that's not fun. Patrice helps us win a Stanley Cup? I'm doing it. Five point. Okay, if we do $6 million on Bergeron. That leaves us $10 million. Somebody, who said Stamkos? We're Stamkos. We're Stamkos. Oh. It's seven. I'd rather I'd rather go Bergeron and save the million. <laughs> Tony Gee. <laughs> Tony, shout out Tony Gee right now. That's funny. I'm not gonna read it because I won't reveal what happened. Crabby, crabby. Uh, Stamkos is great. Norm can't shoot, but I think we got to do Bergeron to save the mill. We're gonna do six point one. We're gonna offer him one year. Bergeron, bring him in. Let's see what we can do. We have the cast space. Why not go how go get somebody to boost these young guys? Tanner Janot, Janot, uh, 2.5, 83. We need a bunch of 82s. Jake Evans, okay, let's try this again. Jake Evans. What did we offer him last time? Let's try one point. Let's try 1.95, Jake Evans. All right. Awesome. Radish. Right wing. Vlad. Oh, Vlad Nemestikov. Yeah. No, that's a good deal. 1.9. Let's try that. That's a right wing. That's a left wing. They can blow, both play center. Yes, that's exactly what we need. Tyson Jost here, too. Let's just feast on this category. Bunch of twos. Oh, if we can just feast... In this area, 
Get everybody done. There's three depth forwards, maybe one more. Kaliev can't do. Trevor Moore's 32 point. Let's get a little lower. Greenway. Greenway is 1.7. J oh, let's do Greenway. Okay. Let's feast on these $1.9 million contracts. I only want I don't want them for that long. One year. Amazing. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. This is a Stanley Cup winning roster if I've ever seen one. I think so. Hopefully Bergeron signs. I think that's really fun. One year of Bergeron to try and help us win the cup. Try and help him turn around this franchise. Tyson Joe signs. Let's go. Jordan Greenway signs. Jake Evans signs. Nemeskov signs. One more. No. He knew. Patrice knows. <sighs> Patrice doesn't want to come to Arizona. Ah! Okay, yes. If Stamkos is still out there, we'll try him. Let's check out. Let's check it out right now. See our depth. Okay, so we got the two, three right wingers. Eh, not great in the system. Looks like we might need a couple more right wingers just to fill it out. The left wingers were stacked, though, so they can play the other side. Yeah, a lot of players who can play both sides. So we should be okay because one of them is going to switch over. In the system, too, we got a couple got a couple depth pieces. And then at center, I think we got a couple more. Yeah, we got 80. We might even need... Okay, there's four and then two. So one will have to go down or two will have to go down. We got a lot of depth pieces. 13 million left. We still have to do the Soderstrom deal, which will hopefully be $4 million dollars. So let's say we have nine, eight million dollars left on the table. If eight million dollars, we don't want to spend it all. This is who's left. Who's our old guy that we bring in for one year who helps us do the thing? I don't know who it is. Is it Backstrom? Is it Kalorn? Is it Marchant? No, we can't do Marchant. Marchant's too much. Kalorn's a little too much. Patches, eh. We've tried patches before. Backstrom? Blake Wheeler? TJ Osi? No Taylor Hall. Phil Kessel? That's kind of it. Who's that? Who's that Perron? Where's Perron? Oh, there's Perron. Okay, we could do Perron. Like, that's okay. Jake DeBrusque? Jake DeBrusque is a good option. Okay, so here's what's on the table, chat. We got two minutes left. We doing Jake the Brusque? Or let's just go big. Let's go Backstrom. One year. Nicholas Backstrom. Bring him in. Help us win a Stanley Cup. 37 years old. Plenty of experience. Brad Marchand, too. I said we couldn't do it because it's too much. But one year of Brad Marchand. One year of Brad Marchand. One year of Brad. Or we're just going to offer him eight point, exactly what he wants. 8.650. 8.650. Brad Marchand. Yes. If he wants it, he can have it. Join us. Welcome to the dark side, please. Brad. Help us in Arizona. We need it. We desperately want it. You could help us bring a cup home. $8.6 million is a lot of money, but we gave it to you. Oh my gosh. Doesn't do it. Ah, nobody wants to come to Arizona. Free agents one more time. Who's our big fish? Who's going to help us do this? We're running out of names. Backstrom signed. We can't do Backstrom anymore. Blake Wheeler, I guess. That's the next on the list. Is Perron still out there? Phil Kessel's there. David Perron. Alan Walsh client. David Perron. 3.5. We have $13.4 million. Tony Gee says... Tony Gee 
says offer Marchand 10 mil. I don't want to go higher with Marchand because I want some flexibility at the trade deadline to take on somebody if we're actually good. We're going to do Perron one year, 3.5. Plus, we got to sign Soderstrom. Hopefully, Perron does that. Our team is so incredibly deep. Like, there's no way we're bad again. <laughs> Thank you, Robert Malloy. It's 55. That is the time I said I would cut it off. And once we sign Alan Walsh client, David Perron, I will sign off so we can all go watch the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yay! Let's go, David Perron. Okay, okay. Ah, all right. That was a quick one. I feel like we did some good work here. We got a lot of rejections. But in the end, Alan Walsh said yes to sending David Perron to the Arizona Coyotes. Go, 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 go. Crabby, crabby. Thank you for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be watching this very quick stream i hope to see you again on thursday where we will see if the team we have now is not a 31st place stream the stream team good night from toronto i'll see you later